Rabbi Mohammed is a Konkonte processor at Eija. We first dry it and then mill it to be used for kokonte and tozafi. They are very nutritious. Konkonte Laba Asari Donko shares with me why he loves the delicacy so much. The other side where uh, people of today, hey, when you mention Abitiel Aprewa, uh, Kokonte, uh, uh, you know, they will go like, hey, as if they don't like it. But when you go to the chop bar, that's the food that just finished, you know, first. Studies have confirmed that foods with lower glycemic indices like wheat, oats and brown rice are recommended foods. You might be wondering what glycemic index is, right? Glycemic index simply is a rating system for measuring how food, when taken into the body, increases blood sugar level. When foods containing carbohydrates are consumed, the digestive system breaks these carbohydrates into simple sugars and then enters the bloodstream. These products upon entering the bloodstream may either quickly or slowly increase blood sugar level. Um, the high glycemic foods are those that will release sugar uh, or glucose very fast into the bloodstream as compared to the low glycemic index, they do it gradually. So people like diabetics, for instance, would want um, foods that will release sugar gradually because of the issue with insulin uh, regulation or um, insufficient insulin. Is that okay? The researchers, okay. Professor Faustina Dufier Rekumenu and Yao Jeu Atrekon, decided to determine the effect of some food processing methods on how starch is made available to the body and also predicted the GI of some cassava based traditional staples consumed in Ghana. The food processing methods included boiling, steaming, fermentation, and drying. Okay, as part of expand, expanding our knowledge on glycemic index analysis, and the perception people have about cassava based traditional staples. We decided to also go further to look at the traditional foods, how processing affects the grass making index of these traditional foods. Cassava, as already mentioned, has a lower grass making index, around 47 thereabout. But after processing, we realized that some of them used to have higher amount of glycemic index and people have the perception that they are being implicated in certain cardiovascular diseases like diabetes, stroke and others. The research published in the Journal of Food and Nutritional Science established that cooked concontin with sun-dried cassava flour possessed a significantly lower glycemic index of 40.02%. However, boiled cassava and acheke had higher GI values of 77.30% and 79.05% respectively. With the concounté, with that of the solar dried, the glycemic index was between 60 thereabout, which means that it falls within the medium, medium glycemic index values of foods which normally release glucose but not at very high compared to the higher that's making this values. Even with that, as I mentioned earlier, the sauce or the soup that is being consumed along also have the tendency to bring the glycemic index down, which will mean that its effect on health will be minimal. Then the sun dried one gave a unique value, which was among all of them was the lowest, even compared to the fresh cassava itself. The Kunkunte sun dried one was very low, implying that its consumption to all standards is should be promoted and it will have limited or no effect as far as glycemic index or glucose rise in an individual is concerned. The research work also recommended that food processors should ensure the use of sun or solar drying to produce lower glycemic index food products. From Kumasi for Joy News, Emmanuel Bright's Quaker Report.